this contest is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle, weighing 330 pounds, Papa Shungo. Papa Shango making his way to the ring here in our first event at WrestleMania 9. The very bizarre individual, certainly over the 300 pound mark, a very formidable side indeed. And obviously one of the more bizarre competitors to ever compete here in the World Wrestling Federation. Papa Shango, the voodoo master. And now we will have the introduction of one of the all-time great competitors in the WWF, El Matador Tito Santana, the former Intercontinental Champion. He is certainly one of the more proficient athletes that I have ever seen here in the squared circle. Santana, colorfully attired here on a beautiful day here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we are coming to you live here at WrestleMania 9. Great ovation for El Matador, Tito Santana. And this should be a most interesting contest, the size and the strength of the 300 pound plus Papa Shango, the voodoo master, and the technical expertise and the quickness and speed of the extremely proficient Tito Santana and Papa Shango not starting off uh, certainly very sportsmanlike as I kick the ring attire of Santana out, caught an elbow tie up. It, Shango forces El Matador back in the corner and somewhat surprising for me, it was a clean break. Yes. Okay, Bruce, I'll work on that. Papa Shango driving Santana's head in the top turnbuckle and measures him with a double thrust right to the throat. Santana in trouble here in the early going. Shango now raking his face across the top ring rope. In voodooism. Takes him outside and follows him out. And now we've got a fight right here on the outside of the ring. Right hand by Santana as he throws Papa Shango back inside the ring. And Santana goes up top. High wrist move by Santana. Caught him with a cross body. But a great athletic move by Shango. He's got the tights there. And the, the official, good officiating. And Santana quickly gets underneath in a cradle. And the strength, the lower body strength of Shango is certainly evident there as he kicked out of the near fall situation. Santana with a wrist lock. Perfectly applied, trying to distance himself somewhat from this huge man. As we documented, Santana giving away a great deal of poundage here. And Shango now coming back with a heavy artillery, skips him up and slams him. Really planted him, but Santana quickly moves out of the way and goes right back to work on the arm. Santana driving his own arm into the uh, bicep, tricep area of uh, Papa Shango, drives the elbow, trying to Charlie horse that upper arm. Certainly would negate some of the outstanding uh, strength of Shango. Ace Quickens here, and this should be right down Santana's alley as he holds on. Papa Shango surprisingly tried the drop kick, and Santana able to avoid it.
Irish whip, center of the ropes. And Shango takes Santana by the hair and throws him right over the top rope all the way down to the floor. Papa Shango reasserting himself offensively in this opening contest at WrestleMania 9. The opening ceremonies. Wow, what a slam there. You can hear the impact of that as Shango used all that power and now back in the ring. Much, much to the dismay of this uh, capacity crowd here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. <laughs> Santana pulls his way back up to the apron, but to no avail, Shango met him there. Shango really trying to dominate Santana here in this opening contest. Caesar was assassinated. Referee trying to restrain Shango, and it's Santana up and over, but can he get him down? Yes, he can. Pinning predicament here and a near fall. Santana won away from victory, and Shango caught him. High impact clothesline. Down goes Santana. Line. This was in good position to see exactly what was transpiring there. And Shango now blatantly breaking the eyes, drawing the referee's ire. Irish whip, center of the ropes, right at us here. Inside cradle. He's got him hooked up, and again, Shango too strong. Another great wrestling move by Santana, and this time the drop kick from Papa Shango connects, and the Matador goes down. Lateral press now by Shango. And Santana able to kick out at two. Side slam. Shango on top of the press out of the cover, and Santana again showing tremendous desire. Santana in a real precarious position here now. Rongo again shows great strength, but Santana able to free himself and he caught him. Tito Santana trying to regain the offensive advantage. Comes up fighting. Straight right hands by Santana. And Papa Shango is in trouble. Santana buried the right hand deep in the midsection. Caught him with a running knee lift. Shango now in trouble. Santana elevates him with a back body drop. Santana measures Shango. Shango able to sidestep him. Santana had him set up for his favorite maneuver. But I'm sure Bruce will tell me exactly what was it's called, because I don't know. Front face lock into the burning suplex. Santana in a great deal of trouble. Another high impact move by the 300 pound plus Papa Shango. Shango now makes his way out here on the apron. And he will take a chance. High risk offense. Perpetrated by the diabolical Papa Shango and nobody home. Santana, can he capitalize on it here? He's got the leg hook. One, two, three, and it's over. Here is your winner, El Matador Tito Santana. Great victory for Tito Santana, making his ninth consecutive appearance at WrestleMania. Shango took a big chance that did not pay off. And the technical expertise of Santana prevailing here, hooks the leg, and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, Tito Santana, the great victory now. Let's go back to our colleague, Beach.
Gene Okerlund.